Believe in God or Die, The Noahide Laws. And for all those who believe in one God, are you really sure that they are speaking of the same God? Because there will only be the one God which one may be worshipped. And yes, for such video we could be sentenced in the future under the Noahide law possibly to death and be executed. If religion now really wants to go so far, they just confirm what they really are. And these laws should now become international standard and be introduced in every country. They are praised as the universal, holy, ethical, moral laws. But deception is the name of the game. And deception can look like the real thing. This is all part of the current crisis, Great Reset, the Kabbalistic agenda of the New World Order. This law do not come from Torah, Talmud or Bible, to be clear. These are thrown together adapted interpretation of the holy books, but which are compilated by a sect and not an entire religion. This is what people have to realize today. This sect has now become so large and infiltrated all sectors of society. We have clearly shown with the Kabbalah video how far all these practices go and scattered. The question is, but which God? And why do you have to force people to believe in one God or believe in something at all? Why can't God not do it himself? What is really behind all of this? People should only think, believe and live what they want. But we also want exactly that. Clearly the whole thing comes in a packet where one has programmed in advance stigmatizations in the head to criticize, to, to, to make these criti critics impossible. But to be very clear, first, we are against all form of discrimination of anyone and any kind of hate speech. People accuse us even to not participate in the hate speech. Um, no, we are, will not do it, uh, simply. And no one will be able to pin us out. Uh, we also don't accept discrimination and hate speech against us. We have neither... Uh, something against Jew, homosexuals, Freemasons, Jesuits, or anything person, personal against nobody. No hate, no judgment, no evaluation, neither estimation nor high estimation. Yeah, this is um, nothing personal against nobody. Everyone who insists on this, who attach this to us, to twist what we say, to try to put us on the wrong, in the wrong light, is a liar and try to manipulate. We only determine, uh, observe, analyze and document how this stuff is all against life. Everyone must bear the responsibility and consequences of what he thinks, feels, says and do himself. And we take full responsibility for what we say, but not what others gonna twist or do with it. Everybody has his uh, free will and that is what is, it is all about. Because these laws are exactly the opposite. They are not seven laws but they are in fact 66 
subdivisions of the seven Noahide commandments. The seven precept of Noah, the universal ethical code for all mankind. But let's watch uh, in the, fr from the end. Blasphemy, against blasphemy, to honor the scholars and we were the one teacher. To study the Torah, to sanctify G God's name, who is really this God, to pray to him, to fear God, to acknowledge the existence of God, I am the Lord your God. Against worshipping idols in any of the customary manners of worship, against bowing to any idols, against making any forbidden statues, making idols for use by others, against making any graven image, against entertaining the thought that there exists a deity except the Lord. What Lord? You shall have no other gods beside me. Against engaging in erotic conduct that may lead to a pro prohibited union. Against a man lying carnally with a male. All the homosexuals should not wave their rainbow flag. Do not have relationship with a male as you would have it with a woman. That's the same for the woman. Against a man having union with another man's wife. Yeah, we do. Anyway, we, we, we don't need this kind of commandments. <laughs> the ones who need commandments are completely lost. To test, and now it comes. To te we have to testify in court. Yeah. Against testify falsely. The court is to administer the death penalty by the sword. Decapitation. The sin shall surely be avenged. That this is no hide law, folks. To appoint judge and officer in each and every community. Appoint judge and officers in all your gates. Well, you can it will be in the description. But um just to watch what the Noahism Noahidism is the traditional interpretation with Orthodox Judaism. According to the Jew law, non-Jewish Gentiles are non obligate to convert to Judaism, but they are required to observe the seventh law of Noah to be assured of place in the new world to come. World to come. Olam Haba. The final reward of the righteous. So let's see what they are saying about this. Ola Haba. The term Ola Haba, the coming world. In contrast to Olam Hase, literally this world, now, refers to the hereafter which begins with the determination of man's early life. Strictly speaking, the period refers to the uh, to by the phrase Ola Habam blah, 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 between which is the present order of the things comes at the age of Messiah is the final order of things beginning with the general resurrection and the last judgment ok so let's see uh, here seven commandments which according to the Jewish tradition are incumbent upon all humankind. And now here the Islam is strictly monotheistic. Muslim have always been considered Noahides. Since the last Middle Age Jew has have acknowledged that the Christian doctrine of the Trinity was not the same as idolatry and they were also recognized as the Noahide. So the, most of them, they will just accept what is to come. And all the atheists, they don't, they don't care, they believe in nothing. But we have to believe in something. 
and also the all all the ones who are for the uh, evolution theory, they are also accepted because they believe in creation. So many will just accept all this this stuff without even shouting out and saying nothing. Every non-Jew is considered a son of the covenant of Noah and he who accepts this obligation is considered a righteousness person who is guaranteed a place in the world to come. And the others? Well, we don't want to be in a world, but we still want to have a life on earth. If they destroy the whole earth to create their world, The seven Noahide laws in traditionally emirated are do not deny God, do not blasphemy God, do not murder, engage in blah, 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 blah. From divine demands addresses to Adam and Noah, the progenitors of all mankind, and thus regards as universal. We will come back to this to more comprehend what is going on. But now the United Nations, yeah, with so no, seven Noahide law. Thirteen, the Lubavitch Rebbe, members of the U.S. diplomatic, U.S. press, headquarters in New York. How to se Noah? Seven Noahide law must play a key role in international effort for world peace. That sounds great, but before world peace, we need a world war. And here titled One People, One World. Yeah. So if people don't still don't get that this is exactly how the new world order is prepared. And here um, Noahide Academy. Have Noahide laws been recognized by any governments? And here we can see Congress, US Congress, principles with basic civilized society upon our great nation was found. Noahide law was recognized 82 by President Ronald Reagan, 89 President Bush, both Senate and House of Representatives, 91, 14 by U European Union, and uh, Governor of Australia in 2008. So uh, this stuff is coming all over and will be, of course, done by the UN, promoted by the UN. But just to go quickly back to uh, if even this, this stuff from the Bible is true, well, they didn't really found any evidence, yeah? <laughs> Because the only evidence they found... Um, is in the Bible itself. <laughs> so they have nothing to show. Yeah? They have uh, all the archaeological uh, things, foundings they have. This is really um, uh, searched for and making a lot of interpretation to claim that there was any anything of the Bible uh, or even the Exodus and all this thing was even true. Of course, they will all debate that this is uh, something different. So the rainbow is the unofficial Noahidism, representing the symbol of Noahidism, representing God's promise to Noah to never again flood on earth and destroy humanity. So they have this seven uh, symbol, maybe this one, or maybe world Noahide community, Yeah, where only bad people could think bad, but the symbols speak for themselves. So now this whole gay and um, transgender community are waving their flag, even if the Noahide law will um, don't allow this. Yeah, and they are adding always more stuff on their flag to include more and more people. Um, of these movements. But today, now, uh, you see the, the rainbow everywhere. Yeah, You can see it uh, in the football, in the 
in any kind of, of, of thing, but this have started already long time ago and is prepared. Now it's even that whole climate um, agenda is pushed through this rainbow thing. And even uh, all well, many companies, they, they, they changed the, the, the color, the logo, they have. Yeah. Or some they had it already a long time ago. Um, so there we go. We, that's why you can see it everywhere. And uh, yeah, even on the roads, uh, but at least uh, the animals still see that there is something uh, not natural <laughs> and they refuse to participate. And uh, yeah, it is so this whole unicorn uh, fantasy of uh, rainbow and uh, and thing comes all together to to create the, the this whole magic where people think there's a new age is coming, something uh, nice will happen, this new world all come together. But of course, it, this is pure occult, and uh, this is long time prepared, of course, uh, through Freemasonry and all. Uh, different stuff all this agenda is pushed so the rainbow in itself is like the new beginning the hope the fulfillment of a dream in the promise of prosperity so um, this is of course like the positive section but behind there is uh, way different stuff um, promoted and here we have uh, Soros, and again, it's not us who say this, but the Washington Times, uh, the money behind the transgender movement. So this is huge, big time financed. And again, the whole occult is also out of the apple and all this stuff uh, with the color. So that's why I put it Satan loves. Um, that's um, how they get used already to that and this is this is biblical why why they are using so baphomet and all this transgender thing this is really to go back to to to, to point zero but as we already saw before this is the the basic uh even and, and noah the whole beginning they they was transgender yeah there was unisex because eve is coming out of adam this is the whole fantasy of the beginning and they want to go back to the beginning this is what we are saying in our videos the whole time they, they, but in life we don't go backwards so the whole reversement of this whole satanism is going backwards this is the, the whole idea and that's why also uh, the colors are like in, in the opposite direction like they have it in in chakra, so they even twist it one one more time. The things, uh, of course, the seven uh, days, yeah, and um, also the the whole worship of the seven planets of the week, and also the 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 Miller's law, like the the magical number, you know, where they say you can remember like seven things in short memory, and. Uh, also, if you if you have to remember something, you repeat it seven times, and then it stays in the, in 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 the long memory. So all this this of course goes together with the whole thing. But now to all the ones who say that we are not participating in all this true hatred, well, there is a reason because they don't have the power. The one who still have the triple crown is the Pope. So let's look, look a little bit uh, deeper. Uh, so this is the, the this crown, this tierra. Tierra, uh, tierra uh, is Pope's crown. So let's uh, see what is uh, inside. Tierum, the papal tierra, formed by the three crowns, symbolize the triple power of the Pope, the father of kings, governor of the world and the vicar of Christ from uh, the century which was the bronze statue of the Saint Peter okay so let's uh, look further the Roman Decretilia 
The Pope is the head of the Catholic Church and the head directs the body. The body is the Church. The Roman Decetalia is an authoritative work of the Roman ecclesi ecclesiastic law. Each Pope, when he invests the succession, declares the papal decretal as true. The decretalia ascribe power to the Pope to change God's law and any other law. He can pronounce sentence and judgments in contradiction to the right of nations and to the law of God and man. Of God and man. He can free himself from the commandments of the Apostle, he being the superior and from rules of the Old Testament. The Pope has power to change times. <laughs> to abrogate laws and to dispense with all things even the precept of Christ. The Pope will stand for a reason he can dispense above the law and wrong make by correcting and changing laws. So even he, he puts himself on, on the place of Christ, he is the, the vicar of Christ, that means he's, he replaced Christ. But would that not be the, their antichrist as they call it? The Pope is free from all law, so that he cannot incur any sentence of irregularity, suspension, excommunication or penalty for any crime. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, and you can see, find this writing here and the source are here. You can pause and find the source yourself. But of course, behind the Pope there is the Black Pope, who is the general of the Jesuits, the Salute and the original man in black. This is what they really are. And well, how the, the, the Pope, the black Pope is saying himself, um, he's the neck <laughs> of the Pope. So there is the church as body, the Pope as the head, and he is the neck in the neck. This is what this comes true. Yes, we criticize institutions, organizations and organized crimes. Manipulation, no matter if it's legal, holy, sacred, satanic, lucrative, religious, and no matter if people want to hear, see it or not. Today, more and more dogmas, ideologies, beliefs, square mainstream system thinking are prescribed. People no longer even notice how everything is the same direction from one thinking, one feeling, one speaking, one doing, eating the same thing, belief, blind trust, following, subjugate, be governed, invest, research, elude, interpret, fantasize, manipulate, fabricate, masturbate. <laughs> if today people come and want to punish us because we don't believe in their God, religion, system or dogma, they just confirm that their whole idea of life, reality, God is total bullshit. And that they are the real demons and psychopathic sat satanists. They should only show their true faces, but otherwise prove your God. Who, where, what is God? And which God are you referred to? This God should now come himself and tell us directly what we are doing wrong. But if it's some fanatic people who come in the name of God, they are only imposters of their own God. And they will banish themselves into hell according to their own beliefs because you don't speak in behalf of God. So they just can come, insult us, curse us, deny us, wish us and our loved ones only the most brutal things they ever can imagine and telling us also. With it we will have also all the proofs 
how rotten satanic demonic twisted the whole religions and beliefs in God is. But now even making laws that forbid not to believe in God, they will see right away what the God worships really are. Fully possessed satanic twisted demonical possessed fanatics. They can kill the speaker, but they will not kill the message. We will continue to say as long as it is possible what we think, see, no matter who likes it or not. They can kill us, but then they will only prove to everyone that what we have said is true. <laughs> and now we love life and would never harm our children, family or loved ones, friends, nobody, and also not ourselves. Even to say this doesn't really matter no more. Um, like you can see with John McAfee, uh, they are not afraid to el eliminate anyone who disturb the system. But we fear nothing. We will, as long as we can, say what we see and what is harming life, the same life that we are breathing every moment uh, and everyone. So if anyone wants to come and punish us for this, they just show their real face. Thanks for watching.